Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, Rob from RobNumphoto.com and I thought I'd take this as a quick opportunity to introduce you to a little film camera, well not a little film camera that I picked up from the car boot um, a couple of weeks ago. This is a Practica LTL3. Um, it's an old film SLR, probably made in the 1970s I think, uh, in East Germany. Obviously somebody bought it from the London Camera Exchange for £35 a while ago. And it, as I say, it's a film SLR, so it runs off film. Um, but it's, it's quite an interesting camera. Um, this particular model and make uses something called the M42 lens uh, mount, which means it screws on and off. And this particular example came with a what is that? A 28, sorry, 29 millimeter, 2.8 prime lens. So it's a bit of a wide angle lens, I guess you'd call it. Um, it's a very very basic camera um, it does have in camera metering but it uses something called stop down metering for you to take a take a take a metering for your exposure so I'll explain what that means but I'll just look at some of the features on the camera um, obviously from the front we've got the lens uh, we've got the shutter delay um, if we just put that up there turn that press that, is that how it works? I can't remember now, oh no, press that, oh, that will then take the picture. Rather unusually, the shutter release is that button there, so when you hold it, you will take it like that. Um, you set your film speed using this little dial here, by turning that around, and you set your shutter speed with this particular dial here. We've got a, uh, I'm not sure if that's a hot shoe or a cold shoe, Hmm. I think it's probably a hot shoe, but the way you the way you have to take a read in to decide whether you've got the correct exposure is you can obviously you know, focus on your subject, um, select your um, aperture or shutter speed first because remember this is full manual, and you pr probably won't be able to see this, but let's have a go. Um, let's have a go. If we can see through it. No, it's too small. Oops. No, it's too small to see it. But basically, what you have to do is to get the correct meter, meter reading. You have to press this button here, um, and what that does is it stops down the lens. So what that means is when you put in your aperture, say I don't know f11, it can't take a reading. The only way it can take a reading is when you press that button and it stops down the lens so it closes the aperture to f11 and then electronically it takes a reading and then inside there's a little um, uh, needle that you look at and if that's in the middle that tells you you're going to get a correct exposure. The problem with this is that it's okay when you're shooting say wide open at 2.8 and uh, f4 because you can still see through the lens if, in bright conditions but if you're shooting down at way, way down at f22 unless it's really really bright when you press the stop down button um, you can't really see through the viewfinder because it goes all dark because the hole's really really small but you know it's got a metal body, plastic back, plastic front really solidly made not as simple or easy to use as my Minolta SRT 101 or the XS, uh, is it the 305 I've got? But still a nice camera, I'll be putting some film inside it to, to have a play with it. Um, just to show you what that stop down means, see if we can see it. So, can we see that in action? Right, so, you see there I'm changing the aperture, so that's a really small aperture, so that would be f22, and that's wide open, so that would be f, what was it on this one? That would be f2.8, but as I said before, the camera can't um, 
if we're down sort of like that when you fix a lens onto a camera or when you're looking through the viewfinder on, on, on any camera and you've chosen a smaller aperture you're not looking through it at that aperture so you're not getting an idea of the proper depth of field the way you're always looking through it on these on these particular things is you're always looking at it with it wide open and then what happens is when you take the photograph the aperture closes down then it takes the photograph then it opens up again and the re reason for that is because the camera wants it to let in as much light as possible so you can actually see see what you're doing but with these models what you have to do you have to take a reading with it small which means you're letting in a lot less light so there we go that's a Practica um, LTL3 nice camera can't wait to put some film in it and, uh, and have a go and uh, see what I can come up with. That's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com.